On most grazing properties, you've got a lot of variability across the landscape, and we usually categorise these as your different land types. Each land type will usually have a different soil there, and one of the most important aspects of your different soils is their texture. Texture is the amount of sand, silt and clay that any soil contains and different soils will have different proportions of all those things. In this little video we're going to show you how to assess soil texture for yourself in the field and it's a pretty important thing to do to get to understand your land types better. To carry out a soil texture test at your monitoring site you need a couple of bits of simple equipment. The first thing obviously you'll need is your soil sample that you've taken from your monitoring point. You need a good bit of soil sample to do the test. The second thing you'll need is a ruler. We use the ruler to help us measure ribbon length as we're carrying out the test. I need some water to wet the sample up as I'm going. And the final thing I'm going to need here is the rash manual, which has the table in it that helps me actually categorise what soil texture my land type has. Sometimes if you've got very dry, hard and cloddy clay, you need to break it up and pulverise it to do the test. So it's a good idea to have a mortar and pestle with you if that's the case in your land type. To assess texture on your place, go to your monitoring site where you're going to be doing your soil monitoring. Once you're there, you're just getting a sample spot and we need to dig a bit of soil out of the topsoil. The first 10 centimetres is fine. And Once we've got our soil in our bucket, we just want to get all the leaf material and roots and stones out of that sample. You need about a golf ball size amount of soil. Once we get that, we need to wet this soil up and turn it into a ball or what we call a bolus. So I get myself a bit of water, any clean water will do and I just want to carefully wet up the soil, mixing it while I do it in my hand. Once you've added the water, you really want to work that moisture right through the soil sample so that the whole ball is evenly wet. You don't want the ball or the bolus to be oversaturated and sloppy, but you don't want it to be dry and cracking either. You want it just to have a good level of what we call field moisture right throughout. The first step is to check the coherence or the strength of this ball. I get my rash manual which has a little chart on how to assess the texture of your soil using that sample. So I want to know whether the ball will fall apart easily, whether it holds together quite well and doesn't break that easily, or whether it's actually really strong and feels like plasticine. So I can evaluate that and look down my chart to see which category the ball falls into. Now that you've assessed the bolus coherence or the ball strength, the second step is to assess the feel of your ball and the material that you're handling. The way we do this is by feeling the ball and feel whether it's got any fine or coarse sand grains in it at all. This will help us categorise the level of sandiness in our soil's texture. So in some soils you'll be able to feel and even hear some of your coarse grains when you rub between your thumb and your forefinger some of your soil. The other part of assessing the feel of a soil is just to feel whether it feels spongy or silky. That's an indicator of a level of silt in that soil's texture. The third step in doing a texture test is do what we call the ribbon length assessment. This is where we get our ball and we make it into a bit of a thick cigar between the, our two hands. So once I've got a, a bit of a thick cigar, I want to now make a ribbon with this soil. And the way I do that is I carefully thin the cigar out to about 10 millimetres and I push it outwards away from myself between my forefinger and my thumb. As I push it out, that soil will shear or break off and soils that have not much clay in them will break quite quickly. So what I've just created there is what's called a ribbon and I can use a ruler to, to measure the length of that ribbon. It's a good idea to do a number of ribbons. If I make three or four ribbons, I get a bit of an average and then I can then use my table in the rash manual on soil texture assessment to estimate the approximate ribbon length that I'm getting as I make ribbons from my soil sample. Now you've done those three steps of the texture assessment test, the final thing to do is look at the results of all of those three things on the texture table in the rash manual and you can come up with a soil texture category. Soil texture is really important to assess, not every year, but as a one-off so that you understand the texture of your different land types. Soil texture is strongly related to water holding capacity in the landscape and it's also related to the erosion potential of different landscapes. So knowing your texture just helps you to manage different different land types a bit better.